morning, fellow Toastmasters. Today I have a very interesting speech that we can all relate. How many of you praise love? You feel happy when you have love in your life. Ooh, come on, come on. <laughs> and uh, some of you are lucky that you already have your spouse, but you know, some of us are still working. <laughs> So my speech is about boyfriends of one on one. I wanted to embrace all of you to go through the stages of your life and how you have evolved. If you are lucky to find love since the beginning, when you are young, or if you're still trying to get love now that you're an adult. So my, uh, the content of my speech is gonna be for boyfriends. Like overall, we have experiences. We have that sweetheart boyfriend. We have the college boyfriend, the work boyfriend, and finally, the real boyfriend. Or you can say why or significant other. So, first, well, we have the sweetheart boyfriend. How many of you remember the next, next, the next door neighbor? They just moved in, somebody new. Or, or your friend's brother, or your friend's sister. You were like, oh, you kept looking at them, like, oh. And then you start getting to know them, you start playing, and you start feeling something because it was such a sweet, you know, said love. And if you're lucky, you stay with them. But for us, including me, I had to move forward. <laughs> Next one, you got the college boyfriend. How many of you remember going to college and you were afraid because it's like, oh, it's so, something new, totally different people. Then you start looking for somebody that you can pass the notes with, somebody you can complain about the teacher, how unfair, he gave me a C, I worked so hard. Or somebody that you say, oh, look at that, he's into uh, sports, look at those muscles, oh my goodness. <laughs> so your heart fell and then you remember when you are trying to, okay, where are they? Let me see if they're in this room. Or oh, let me see if they're at the gym. Or oh, let me see if they're in the cafeteria. I'm gonna go and sit next to them or try to see, get a glance at them. But if you um, keep falling through, then you have the work boyfriend if the, the college boyfriend didn't work out. Who remembers the work boyfriend? That was another transition from your life when you say, what happened? It was so easy in college. Now it's like, I gotta wake up nine to five. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, I gotta pay, wait two weeks to get a paycheck. What happened to just going to school? What happened to just do homework, stay all night long, talk to your friends? Now it's like, I gotta, Go to bed at 10, because otherwise I can't get up at 8. I gotta get all my papers together, get all my car. It's like, what happened? I used to take the bus, I used to take the metro. Now I have a car that I have to take care of. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But then you find that someone so sweet that will listen to your complaints at work. <laughs> because you see them every day, <laughs> the same person every day. So I'm like, wow, well, this person might be interesting. Oh, that girl might be interesting. It's like we relate at work. We sometimes share our meals. And then now we can complain about the boss. And it's that connection with that changes of your life. Was you start getting the feelings. And as you progress, you realize that your feelings start getting mature. First, it was innocence. Second, it was the newest of college, getting mm -hmm. a different environment. And then when you move into the work boyfriend, it's when life really hits you. It's like, hey, it's not about lovey, lovey, it's about work. And you start saying, why has to be so much about work? I'm already working, but I have to work on my relationships too. How many of you say, should be easy, right? Mm -hmm. It is, because at the end you realize that we have that need for love and that what, what is keeping us going through. To the last one, I mean, hopefully. 
the real boyfriend. You know, you had that stage where you went through the sweetheart, the college, the work. Now you got the real boyfriend and you say, I don't care no more. I'm in a stage where my life, I went through all the bosses, I went through all the teachers, I went through all the heartaches. I'm just gonna be me. I'm gonna go fly to different countries. I'm gonna go to all these charity events. I'm gonna help people. You do what makes you happy. And when you realize that, is that when you find that real person that admires you for who you are. You don't have to pretend to like the other person. You just are you and you attract them. And you come to a point of your life when it says, this is amazing. This is what it feels to be truly in love. Because the first person that you love is yourself. So as much love as you have inside, then you attract more. So in conclusion, isn't that amazing? We think that we have to find the perfect person. We think that we have set timing for our love. And you know, it was always within us because we attract what we want. We attract who, how much value we get, so much value we receive from the others. So you, from the beginning, it was from all of us. And how many of you would have loved to have that manual about boyfriends on one-on-one -on -one and save so many heartaches? <laughs> or girlfriend one-on-one? -on -one? <laughs> but at the end, you know, it's about enjoying the process of finding yourself, of accepting the love that comes to your, to your life. Because at the end, you remember that love is one of the most powerful forces. Love is what makes everything go around. Thank you, Pilot Master.